The semifinals at Euro 2024 were filled with action and excitement with every kick of the ball. From Spain versus France and the Netherlands versus England, these high octane games produced two winners who will battle it out in the final while the other two sides are headed home from this competition. Here's everything that happened today at Euro 2024. The first match of the semi-finals would see Spain take on France in Munich. Spain would get off to an electric start, but it would be France who would be the first on the score sheet. After a great running cross on the left side from Kylian Mbappe, it would be Randall Kolomouani who would head home France's first goal from open play at this tournament, giving the French side a 1-0 lead in the ninth minute. Spain wouldn't let that goal shake their confidence, and just 12 minutes later they would get a spectacular equalizing goal of their own. An incredible effort from Lamine Yamal would see a shot curl around the keeper and bounce in off the left post, bringing the game level at 1-1 in the 21st minute. Spain wouldn't stop there and just Four minutes later, a brilliant solo effort from Danny Olmo would bounce off the leg of Jules Koundé and into the back of the net, giving Spain a crucial 2-1 lead in the 25th minute. Both sides would go back and forth with some great attempts coming ever so close to getting another goal, but the score would remain 2-1 in favor of Spain going into the halftime break. An exhilarating first half would lead to a rather lackluster second half in terms of big chances, with the best effort of the new frame going to Teo Hernandez in the 76th minute, but his shot would go flying into the stands. After 90 minutes of great football action, the match would end 2-1 for Spain, which would see them advance to the final of Euro 2020 while France's run at this tournament would come to a heartbreaking end. Spain will go on to play the winner of the match between the Netherlands and England in four days' time in what will be a thrilling finale to this tournament. The second match of the semi-finals would see the Netherlands take on England in Dortmund. The match would get off to a fiery start and after only seven minutes the Dutch side would take an early lead. After a great challenge by Xavi Simons just outside the English penalty area, he would blast his shot with immense power and accuracy past Jordan Pickford, giving the Netherlands a crucial 1-0 lead. England would immediately respond and just a few minutes later Harry Kane's attempt on goal would turn into a penalty kick for the English side after a questionable tackle by Denzel Dumfries. Harry Kane would step up and direct his shot into the bottom left corner, giving the goalie no chance at making a save and bringing the game level at 1-1 in the 18th minute. Both sides would come ever so close to scoring a second goal as they would both hit the woodwork, but the game would remain level at 1-1 going into halftime. The second half would get off to a much slower start and the first real chance of the new frame would be a 79th minute goal from Bukayo Saka that would be called back for offside. With the game looking destined for extra time, it would be an unlikely hero who would step up to save the day. After a clinical pass from Cole Palmer just outside the Dutch penalty area, it would be Ollie Watkins who would slot his shot into the bottom left corner, giving England a definitive 2-1 lead in the 90th minute. That would be the final chance of the match as England booked their spot in their second successive Euro final while the Netherlands exit the tournament in truly heartbreaking fashion. After two incredible matches at Euro 2024, this is how things stand. France and the Netherlands have been eliminated from the tournament and now only two teams remain. Spain and England make up the two sides who will battle it out for all the glory and the winner of that match will be crowned champions of Euro 2024. But what did you think of the semi-finals at Euro 2024? Let me know in the comments below as well as your predictions for the rest of the tournament. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more football content, tier lists, and everything in between. And as always, I'll catch you next time.